They all draw swords out, they draw weapons out. Terrifying! You're really scary! Whoa! A couple of the, uh, the guys that are joining in with swords, they're like, oh, f is Nixie involved? <laughs> they're like, <laughs> This guy over here kind of gets to his feet and crawls, ah, 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 puts himself out, charges forwards, is going to take a slash at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traumatized already. I do not need this right now. <laughs> yep. More traumatized. Uh, what's your armor class? That's a. 13. <laughs> That's really not good. Uh, it's 11. <laughs> yeah, 13 on the dice plus his modifier is going to hit then. Uh, and he's dealing with a. We'll go with what a dice. So rude. <laughs> uh, that is going to be 10 points of slashing damage. <laughs> is he my dad? Is he my granddad? Like, who? I'm so confused. Is Genie. How, how do I know him? Boy, is is he related attention. to me? Oh! 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 Why me? Uh, took a strike at you. That was the that was that bad guy. Then it's sneaky. Yes. Sneaky. So, and if you use your arrows, you get one d six. Yeah. Plus like for fire, fire damage. damage, which might not be useful against the fire element. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, so sneaky is real interested in those ember shards. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cast dissonant whispers. Ooh, Ooh, nice. This is an enchantment spell, I believe. So under an enchantment spell, you have uh, two options. You can either increase the range that you can cast it at, or you can increase the targets. So it is currently only a one-target creature. Yeah. You can essentially use it as a two-target creature. Ooh. I'm gonna do that, I think. All right. So you cast uh, you cast Dissonant Whispers through one of the Ember Shards. Mark, uh, casting through one of the Ember Shards uses the Ember Shard, yep. by the way. Hence why you've got a few of them. Of dissonant Whispers, uh, dis no, dissonant whispers is a... Uh, so it's a discordant melody that only one creature of your choice within range can hear, racking it with terrible pain. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 3d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Cool! You whisper so into its mind with... It. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. they go... Ah, and they take psychic tongues. damage and run away. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. They can't go into dangerous ground. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah. the wounded ones, yes. So, yeah. Those wounded two? guys on the ground. He's stunned. He's getting to his feet slowly. This guy got to his feet as well and is also wounded. And he's going for. Um, he just attacked um, Boobly. Okay, I'm going to go for him. Cool. And the stunned one. Cool. Oh if wait, will that do more damage, or like, does that affect the? St uh, uh, stunned won't affect the damage of a dis dissonant whispers. Mm. Okay, then I'll get the other guy because. <laughs> yeah, get the other guy. <laughs> All right, uh, they yeah, have to make. Yeah, get them while it's down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have to make wisdom saves, correct? Yes. All right, let me grab the uh, bloody tokens to remind us who is bloodied, who is not, who is wounded. And I think I've got another nice one. Choose this one, an old bottle cap. All right, um, you uh, you need to they make to make wisdom saving throws. So the one on Boobly gets a sixteen and succeeds. So damage. does he take half damage on a success? Yeah, on a failed save, it takes damage. Yeah. On a successful yeah. take, takes half damage and doesn't have to move away. So he doesn't have to move, but he's going to take half damage. Yeah. So roll that three d six. The other guy oh, got a fourteen plus his wisdom, which will be enough. Okay. Um, actually, might not be thinking about it. What are they? Might be a negative wisdom. Ooh. Oh, can I describe what I do with the whispers? Uh, you can give me one second oh, to yeah, yeah. see if he fails it or not first. Uh, he does not. He, he, so he uh, succeeds and succeeds, so they'll both take half damage. So knowing that, you can describe it. What does it look like? Oh. Two ones and a six. So oh, eight, no. uh, four points of damage. Four points of damage. Four points just, of damage. It looks, it looks really something. cool, though. It's still yeah. better than zero points. Yeah. So yeah. 24 damage, 24 damage. They look... <laughs> what does it look like? So I'm going to grab one of the ember shards. I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna start whispering into it. Okay. Like random tongues. Okay. It's just, um, the snake talk in Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parcel tongue. Parcel tongue. Yeah. yeah, parcel tongue. And I'm gonna crush it. <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah. And as you crush it, there's this um, uh, this 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 wisp of uh, of necrotic energy that leaves the shard and separates out into two. Uh, w uh, wicks its way across the battlefield and hits them right in the, the, the eye and then <laughs> and then they kind of just push up, push through it and stay where they are okay. um, that was your turn you've got uh, bonus and movement I will move to hide behind something there's a few trees back here the big sort of tree of life is like down the end there like the big thing 
I'm but the my, rest of the forest yeah, line is back here. Hide behind a tree that still leaves me within range to use my bow. All right, so you fly, fly over here with your movement and try and use the hide action. Uh, make a stealth check. You're going to be hidden from a couple of people over here maybe, but a couple of people over here will be able to see you still. Okay, oops. 12 plus 10, 22. 22. So anyone over this side does not know where you are, but anyone over here can still see you. All right. Where'd you go? <laughs> All right, that is you. We're going to go to, we're going to jump into this one. It's going to flit in from here. Uh, let's see, what are they going to do? They're going to, this, uh, this is like a little, um, let's say it's, uh, it's one of the salamanders. They slither in from here. They get to the, the center here. And they do like a fire, a fire storm kind of around themselves, not the actual spell fire, fire storm. They're not at that high level, Whoosh, but they just kind of spin around. And I need all four of you. Uh, oh shit! That's a bad, one of the bad guys as well. Fire, fire elements and doesn't care. Um, <laughs> make dexterity saving throws. Dexterity seven. Seven fail. Eighteen. Success. Eight. Eight is a fail, and the bad guy also an eight fails as well. Uh, those who failed got a uh, six points of fire damage. Well, yeah. Are they hit points? Yeah, six hit points. Uh, and three points if you succeeded. So you succeeded, you take three hit points of... Oh, actually, uh, you succeeded and you're uh, resistant to fire. So the three gets halved, rounded up to two. You take two points of fire damage. Two points of fire damage. Two points of fire damage and uh, six to the rest of you, including this guy who goes down. And he is... Unconscious. He's potentially dead, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. more likely just unconscious. Oh. All right, that is fiery guy, and then it is Boo. Okay, okay. Oh. I want to do scorching ray. Ooh. Ooh. I just, wow! Let the fire out. Yeah, I'm on fire. I'm angry. I'm scared. <laughs> All the feels. I like you so much better now. <laughs> yeah. We're be You've been now. like water for like so long, and I've been like. <laughs> You've converted me a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray, and I'm going to go for. I can do three, right? Uh, you can, three? yes, three, yeah, three, yeah. three targets. I think I'll try obviously get these. I'm, I want to get this. That guy's that guy's gone down unconscious with so the fire. I'll take, the, I'll take him off. I'll take him off. Oh, battlefield. okay. Well, I want to get this. Little, you have a one. you have this a feeling that a fire elemental is probably not going to succumb to scorching well. ray because it's, it's, it's fire damage. Oh. Now yeah, so this I'm going to go for this guy, and can I reach this guy? You can reach that guy. Cool. Who does not have any weapons? Nice. That's but he does seem to have walked forwards into the arena, he like he's ready to fight. Being like, oh, okay. He, he seems like he's ready to fight. Hasn't drawn any weapons. Okay. Mm, is that a bit mean then? Nah. I'm traumatized. I'm going for everyone. Yeah, yeah totally. Right. This one, this yeah. one, and who else? And can I reach that one or not? Oh wait, that's fine. Never mind. That's you can hit this guy on the ground. This guy on the ground. Oh yeah. This one I'll hit here. one of them. One of this. This one here. Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah. So these three, scotching ray. Uh, everybody, make a perception check, please. Uh, Phoenix, you have disadvantage. All right. Ten. I have perception check as well. <laughs> yes, actually, not. you can yeah. as well. All right. I have 18. a minus one to perception. Eighteen. Eighteen. I have five. Two <laughs> plus seven, nine. Cool. Eighteen. Oh, cool. <laughs> Describe the scorching ray for me. How does it, b does it bubble up from within? Yeah, it just from comes hands? from within, and then I puff my chest out, and then my arms just go, Whoa! and it comes oh. out through my fingers. So, um, so you see, uh, she's not in her watery form anymore because you haven't pre banged the gong in a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> You, uh, this is just a regular your ability, right? This is not from the gun. Yeah, this is just normal, yeah. You can just do scotching, right? Yeah. Um, so you see this kind of glow to the chest and, uh, and it seems to spread out like a heat from within, it seems to glow across the tops of the shoulders. The, the, gen the generally moist, damp kind of nature of this, uh, this water elemental you've gotten used to, you start to see some of the steam coming off of the shoulders and down the arms as this heat just radiates down and out of the skin. The two of you, with an 18 perception, see a very similar thing happening in, uh, in uh, Amon over mm. in the corner. You see like in a similar thing, like well, we this, this heat <laughs> is coming across the shoulders and down the arms as he's Daddy. watching very intently. Daddy? Daddy. And then whoosh, these three f spiraling bolts of fire go out and streak at these ones. I think it's three attack rolls that you have to roll. Oh, yeah. So uh, roll this one for this one first. Yeah. Uh, 12. 12 plus a modifier. So, okay, 18. so 18 will hit, um, and then roll this one next. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, three, three plus six nine, will miss, yeah. and then this one you roll with disadvantage because he's prone, so it's harder okay. for you to hit. So 11. 11 or six. six. Six plus six is 12. 12 won't be enough to hit. So these two will miss. This one will okay. hit. So you roll damage of Scorching Ray, which is, I think, 2d6. So roll, I one roll, uh, yeah. roll yeah. one twice. Uh, six, six, nice, and then another one. one. Nice, <laughs> average. Seven points of fire damage to this one. Whoosh. Here comes Scorching Ray. <laughs> I got all three of ya! Woo! Look at me go! Boo Blaze back, baby! Oi! Suck on there! Stop gloating! Oh, why? That is your action. You've got a movement and bonus. Uh, I might move away from this. This fire salamander? Mm, maybe this just backwards, I think. All right. Oh, will that trigger? Uh, it's not within trigger. five feet. Uh, it did like a storm oh, thing from a distance. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. About there? Yeah. All right. Uh, anything as a bonus action? I don't know that there's much you can do as yeah, a bonus. Yeah, no, I think I'm all good. Thank all you. right, let's go with... Maybe I'd do that guy now that he's been hit. No, um, maybe not. <laughs> maybe he just dies. Maybe. Can you get you if he goes combustion. over there? <laughs> maybe he realizes oh, violence can. isn't the answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, this guy can. This guy will go next, and he will run 30 feet to here. Uh-oh. Get one, two, three of you in a nice line. Is oh, he ah! casting a spell? He okay. is. Do I have to save us? Save us. Save us. Save us. Save us. Can I, <laughs> as a reaction, Yes. can I bend his luck? Uh, <laughs> it says you can subtract it from something, yes? Yes. Uh, so when I see someone make an attack roll, uh, I can use my reaction, spend two sorcery points to roll 1d4 and mm -hmm. Uh, subtract from an attack roll. Yes. He's not making an attack roll with this spell. Oh, okay, then never it mind. Is a, it's an area of effect spell and it requires saving throws on their parts, not an attack roll on his part. Ah, uh, okay, um, never as he, mind. As he runs forwards, you see uh, this sort of... Um, he looks like there's potentially some rock elemental in him. He's one of the um, creatures from the, 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 the girded gauntlet uh, fighting arena. He runs forwards, and, you, and as he moves his his arms, you see this like lightning kind of crackling up across his chest, and then he puts his hand out, and has a lightning bolt, in a hundred foot line, which is definitely going to get all three oh of you in. Oh my god! And the tree. And the tree. And the tree. And the tree. No. Oh, not the tree. Which you can hear screaming in pain. No. <laughs> um, I need three of you to make a dexterity saving throw against the lightning bolt. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. dear. Bears, 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 bears. Bad, bad, bad. Three. Bad. Ten. Oh. So a three will <laughs> fail. What did you get? Oh, yeah. Ten. Ten. You're going to hear a point it to dodge out of the way. Over I was yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoosh, you, dodge, you managed to dodge out of the way of it. I'll say with the hero point, you managed to avoid all damage. Hell yeah. Uh, and you got. I got a six. A six. He's not looking good. Not Ooh, looking good at all. And. So far. Your water. And because this is a demonstration of how ember shards work, he is going to use an ember shard to empower this, essentially, and, and, uh, and, and make it a higher level spell. So this is going to be 9d6, much like your fireball was earlier. He gets 30 points of damage to you. So you failed. Baby, don't worry. You failed, right? With yes. The, whatever it was. Yep, 30 points of lightning damage, 30 points of lightning damage well, to I'm you. Dead. Like, I'm minus. F 14 now. Like well, I'm thankfully, it doesn't go into negatives. Yeah. It just goes to zero, and you are unconscious and dying. <gasps> so, okay. you get blasted with a bolt of lightning. You get blasted with 30 points. You're still standing. <laughs> I've got, yeah. All right. And with your hero point, you managed to avoid it. You didn't want to hero point that like uh, Arrow did. I, I wouldn't know. It's up to you. Three. Yeah, okay. One. Keep him down. Keep him down. down. Heroically, yeah, yeah. heroically, you dive out of the way of this. You dive out of the way of this as well. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm back up again. Oh my gosh, that was so heroic. I'm a hero, I nearly died, and look at me! I'm back up again! I'm amazing! I'm flawless! Oi, I, pay yeah. attention. Oh, 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 oh. Horatio, you're up, mm. uh, and you are six rounds into a casting of the whatever spell you were casting, the, the uh, motivational, motivational speech. speech. So if you want to use your action to continue casting that, you can, and then you've got a bonus of movement. Yes. So I will continue casting oh, that. that. So goes now down I'm down to three. three. Um, 
My... Oh, also, uh, while you are casting a thing, uh, any times you take damage, you have to make a concentration check against actually being able to continue casting the spell. Oh. You're taking damage twice from the salamander yeah. and from the lightning bolt. Oh, so I need two concentration mm. checks, please. Well, I feel like this was actually a bad this idea. One, this one plus your constitution saving throw. Oh, this yep. one? 19? Nice. 19 plus nice. you're fine from the salamander, and then the second one is constitution save again from the lightning bolt. Five, five, five. five. Ah. Plus your constitution Ooh. save. Three, eight. eight. Unfortunately, no, with that lightning blast through the chest, <laughs> you focus so much on, on tanking the damage and preventing the, the ladies behind you, because you're such a gentleman, <laughs> preventing of them course. from taking damage, <laughs> that unfortunately the, uh, the Can spell that be does. inspiring yeah. in of itself? <laughs> it's pretty, I, I love that. Pretty, like that. I love it's that. It's pretty good. inspirational. Um, you're just like, you're just look like at this strong man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am. He's phenomenal. like in the middle of a <laughs> speech <laughs> and then tanks this like yeah. lightning bolt all I mean, by himself. It's like, <laughs> let's let's be honest. When is Buble not wet? That's, that's um, a good point. Oh, well, now apparently because she's just steamed off. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll say I'll say it's mini, mini inspiration. Both of you get inspired one point, so you can add a Yay! one to your next roll because of the. Oh, Good cool. But you're, uh, <laughs> you're no longer sometimes. concentrating. Yeah. You're no longer concentrating on this spell, so you can still do what? something else as your action now. Okay. Okay. Can I see it too? No, you're hidden. Yeah. Okay. okay. What are you doing right. as your action, Horatio? Yes, I'm. I'm pivoting because um, yeah. I'm back. casting my spell. Apparently. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I am going to cast a spell. Um, and I'm going to speak to the tree of life. Okay. <gasps> what is the oh What does the range on speak with plants? Um, I think it might, might just be self. Oh. The range, yeah. Oh. What is self? Range of self? Mean? That's fine. I mean, I mean you cast it on yourself, five? and then it's like if it was a range of a hundred feet, it says you um, have to be able to talk with a hundred feet. If it's, it's a range of self, it means you cast it on yourself, and then you can talk to any plants as far as your voice can carry. So I did you, say the tree of life is like right at the end of this mat here, which is like. 30, 60, 90. It's about 200 feet away. You so can talk to maybe one of these trees and see if they're able to connect through the root system. Ooh. Or you can just yell and <laughs> see if your voice carries 200 feet to the tree of life. It is a big tree, maybe it has big ears. Do you yeah. have like a uh, ability like maybe thermaturgy to maybe like amplify your voice? I don't know what thermaturgy means. <laughs> <so> I <laughs> guess not. Never mind. But I like, <laughs> I love well. the suggestions i think um i feel like he does have a big bellowing you've got a big bellowing voice mm. Horatio. Yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can, yeah. Shout. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. shout okay so i sh i um shout telepathically to the tree of life and um audibly not telepathically <laughs> Oh, it gives you a chance to just audibly speak to the tree. And I've also got my loot out for drama. Sure. And um, <laughs> I yell out and I go, um, Tree of Love, please help us. We're struggling. I'm scared we're going to die. And then I um, yell out and I say, we could do with some more life, some more <laughs> hit points, maybe give them to us. <laughs> Is that how Tree of Life okay. works? Okay, I yeah. like it. I like the idea. I um, so I will say I need a performance check, please. Oh, oh that was so, so close! <laughs> I saw that. It, it was, was like, nine, it was a nah. 19. Oh. It was basically it was a 19. Literally. It was basically, but it's not, is it? Oh. What is it? What nine is plus eight. It's still pretty good. 17 is still pretty good. Okay, okay. 17 is, we'll, we'll have to see if it works. That's your action. Do you want to do anything as movement and bonus? Yes. Um, okay, so this fire is actually, it's just a lizard. It's a salamander, yeah. It's a, it's a large uh, anthropomorphic lizard, fire lizard, essentially. Yep. I'm going to charge and then I'm going to um, slash it with my um, quarter staff. Okay, you turn around, you, tr you, you, uh, you take a big run up and you ha hack at it, except you've just used your action to do the thing with the tree. So you've only got but a bonus a spell. action. <laughs> Which is a is it this you have one action, one bonus action and one movement. You've used your main body of your turn, your action, was mm. to try and get healing from the tree. Right, okay. You've got a bonus action if there is something that specifies, takes a bonus action to do. So I've just run towards it, basically, so and put myself in danger. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I can't actually take this action because I already used one of my spell slots, so I, I think that's the end of my turn. I oh, do apologize. <laughs> so your bonus, your bonus actions oh, are, if you take the action to dash, you can then do the charger feat, your goring rush and things, and your hammering horns. Okay. Yeah, I'll do uh, Your bonus action is also the mantle of inspiration. 
okay. which you haven't used today. So you could bonus action, do the mantle of inspiration and do the commanding thing that you did with plants. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you could also do bardic inspiration as a bonus action. Crazy round. I'm gonna do my. I'm we'll, gonna. Um, we'll temporarily say you haven't charged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I will charge, and I'll. Um, I'll uh, use my hammering horns. All right. Well, you'd need to take the action to dash to do that, but I'll hand wave it. Uh, <laughs> so hammering horns when you blah 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 attack action attempt attempt to blah blah blah. Uh, no, not hammering horns. Goring rush. I love when Rob lets us cheat. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> no, goring rush is what you're doing. Yes. Uh, using your goring rush ability, uh, roll a d20 plus seven. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. Oh! All right. Uh, so this is uh, a brutal critical in my game, so I'm, I max out what you could have rolled, which is a d6 plus 4, so that's 10 already, and then you roll another d6 on top of it. Ooh. So uh, 10 plus a d6. d6 back. <laughs> Thank you. 10 plus a d6 damage. Two. All right. <laughs> you slam in with, uh, with 12 points of damage to the, uh, the salamander. Uh, the salamander takes that damage <laughs> and is uh, pushed, pushed away from you a little bit, just by the, the sheer force of you running into them. <laughs> Uh, you will also take a point of fire damage from melee attacking something that's on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not yet wounded, though. All right, that is... I think that was... Not wounded? That was you. It's, it's, it's not wounded. It's not oh, okay. half health. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that is your turn done. Yes. Okay. And then Thank you. Is like oh. almost dead. Uh, I've just remembered off the top of my head and definitely didn't need somebody else to remind me that when you cast a Warlock spell, mm -hmm. that Scorching, Scorching Ray, mm -hmm. uh, it should automatically be upcast to your Warlock level, um, which is a uh, level three at your level. So I just so won you the cast, game. Is that so what you're you saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just won the game. We're done. Warlock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, retroactively, this never no, Sorry. <laughs> you cast Scorching Ray at first, uh, second level before. It should have been cast at third level, which okay. would have meant uh, you could have targeted one other person as well. Okay. Um, so, missed abilities. Don't forget your stuff. Okay. Um, also, uh, Elemental Adept, when yes. your fireball was rolled all the ones before, yes, you should have been able to re-roll the... the uh, and so that would mean our two, so that's 24 altogether. 24 instead of 20 uh, to the damage. So this guy, these guys who were wounded before were extra wounded now. Extra <laughs> wounded. Nice. Uh, thank you, succumbed. thank you, Etienne, for pointing that out. All right, that was your whole turn. Mm -hmm. Then we've got, back to the bad guys, Wings come out, no. <sighs> cracks the neck. Why? Please. Horatio, it's <laughs> been some time since we sparred off. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, no! Charges forwards. He's going to use the charger feet, like you just tried to, uh, to take a hammering hooves attack at you. Not no. lethal, right? Uh, we'll see, won't we? Um, that is going to be, what's your armor class? That is a 16 to hit. Armor class, uh, first page, first 24. Page. <laughs> oh, wait, 24. 12. 12, so 16 beats 12. 12. He's going to I don't slam think into. So. No, she doesn't. Uh, that is going to be. I don't know, be... I don't know what equipping armor That's means. Or how to do that it. is. Inventory and press yes on your armor. That is. She, she doesn't have armor on. No, oh, okay. she, she's got zero dexterity. She's wearing one le uh, leather armor, which gives her plus one, and she's even got a protection cloak, which yeah. gives well, she her another plus one. Her racial can't look so sexy if he's covered up all the time. Exactly. You have twenty. That was a. I rolled two nines on the T10s. Plus four from his strength. Um, oh because God. picture okay. the biggest horse you've ever seen and double it. What's that's it? a pretty big, strong horse. Yeah. So that's going to be 22. That's a reaction as a bard. Do you? <laughs> okay. No. Let's see. Do I? Uh, I think I that's think so. a, it's a law bard thing. And she's oh, a glamour okay, bard thing. Never mind. Uh, 22 points of damage is what this all equates okay. to. Well, I'm, de I'm, a, I'm a zero. <gasps> the cover's gonna hurt. Boom! Just like charges in. <laughs> big old wings come in for the, like, it, like pushes back to push the, the legs forwards and just slams both feet into the chest. Boom! Knocks you over and knocks you to zero. My friend, <laughs> what, what would you do? Yes, yeah. I mean, you're normally stronger than, I thought we were spying. Yeah. No, you, you <laughs> almost killed me dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness me, Horatio. You used to be so tough. You just, I, I think I broke a rib. Oh, I'm sorry, let me try CPR. No, no! I'm gonna <laughs> CPR Ow. on the chest no, with my no, hooves. No, no, <laughs> Brings Ow. the horse hooves Ow. down on the chest. He's got like electricity <laughs> in his hooves, he's like clear. <laughs> oh, goodness, you put on weight. <laughs> It's just muscle mass. Oh, muscle mass, my ass. <laughs> All right, I think oh. we're done fighting. Let's I go. I think so. All right, that is Hanky's turn. Uh, then it is, uh, then it is... Well, I was gonna attack people, but I guess I'll kill wounds instead, shouldn't I? 
Um, yeah, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Horatio. Okay. Cure Wounds, uh, what level? Bloody hell, I don't know. Two, six, two. <laughs> I got two levels level two? here. Let's do level two. You're going for a level two then? Sure. All right, 2d8 plus your wisdom modifier. That I one. need another d8. Wait, this one? Yeah, that's a d8. That's Wait, a d10. What? Yeah, Where's the two? Here's what? another one. Oh, thanks. Uh, I saw that eight on that dice, and it looked like the highest number that was there, so I thought it was a eight. It <laughs> didn't count sides. Zero is the highest number on it. Um, yeah. yeah, it's D10s. I just hate how Four in total. Four mm. plus your wisdom modifier. Uh, hold on, we'll take a little bit. This is what we do when we don't want to make a boring four people to watch plus three. All right, <laughs> seven points of healing. You are not dying any longer. You can mark on seven points of healing. Uh, you've cast your spell. And I've got a bonus action. Can I cast Slayer's Prayer? I think that might yes, be a you bonus can. Action. I'll cast it on... Uh, I don't really want to attack a horse. <laughs> Pegasus. Well, Racist. So <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I took it back. Um, maybe this guy, because he seems like he... He was the spellcaster that yeah, did I don't the... Yeah, him. so maybe I'll cast Slayer's Prayer on him. Okay. So you've Slayer's Prayed this guy. You take you like... All oh, that lightning damage taken down, my friend, and you you focus on him and you I, mark I him look as your him in the eye and I'm like, mark him as your you, your you. prey. Yeah, with something. Bonus and action, and do you want to move anywhere? Um, probably no. I don't know. Okay. I don't really know. So I can get um, a second advantage. Did you want I'm to like use your uh, ember shard with that? Am I? How do I use that with? Uh, in the same spirit? way that you've seen with the other things, it. Magnifies or amplifies. You could add it another person if you wanted to. <coughs> do you want to use an ember shard? Well, I would like to, but I just don't right. know how to apply. As that you to use your ember shard to cast the as like a conduit to cast a spell through, um, you can either choose a second target within range to also uh, apply the same healing to, or you can upcast it to level three instead of level two. Three. Cool. Roll another d8. Six. Six. So you get an extra six points of healing because she cast it through the ember shard. You get another six, six points. points. Yay. <laughs> nice. Um, and mark off one of the ember shards that he gave you. Thank you. are right. Uh, that is your turn entirely then. All right, after your turn comes oh, the no. main bad buddies, uh -oh. I suppose. Oh, but, All right, anybody who has not gone yet. So this guy's <laughs> gone, this guy's gone. This guy was stunned on his turn, so his turn's done. We've got these four left. Uh, you d you dived heroically out of the way to, of that lightning, so this one's mm. going to come your way. And it's going to wrap you up in a uh, in a fiery embrace, and it's going to try and restrain you in fire. So, uh, contested athletics check. You can make an ath athletics or acrobatics your choice, whichever's higher. Okay. Uh, and you're going to take some fire damage from that. This one, Congrats. meanwhile, is going to run over to Nixie. Fuck. Going to try and take out <laughs> Nixie. Ah, no. uh, that would be a seven there. Seven. Am that I is resistant to that fire though? Yes, you are. In any way. Uh, fail against the the uh, the, the nice. wrapped up um, entanglement. It's like a smokish smokish monster <laughs> wraps up around you and then solidifies itself into <laughs> into a restraining grasp. Uh, you're grappled and you will take. Where is it? There it is. A hug. Uh, <laughs> and a big cuddle. You'll take five fire damage, but because you're resistant, you'll only take three of it. Three points of fire damage. And then it heals you. Yeah. <laughs> it actually cauterizes oil. This one runs over to you and draws out two swords and takes a slash with them both. Uh, you'll notice that his ember shard is powering this magical sword. So he's, in, he's added it to his, um, his uh, 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 magic attack. So uh, I will Hellish Rebuke as soon as he's hit. Okay. Uh, so the first one will hit with a 20-something to hit. And that is going to yeah. magnify this to a seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. And then you Hellish Rebuke that. Yes, I will Hellish Rebuke, which is... Uh, a reaction to taking damage. Yes, so you have to roll a save. Fire. Was, uh, dexterity 16. saving throw. Uh, that is... N oh, <coughs> that beat, uh, fails at 16. Okay, cool. Um, so then you take 2d10 uh, fire damage. I'll just roll the hundreds and I'll just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's a 9 and a 4. So 13. 13 points of fire damage to him and he'd taken half of the 24 before, which is 12. Uh, 12 and then your Scotching Ray uh, missed him. <laughs> so 12. Just math being like... Me being like, mm -hmm. yeah, totally. <laughs> 12 and then thir uh, 13. It was just 13, wasn't it? 13 over here. That was 13, just now. Five. It's down. So he doesn't get to hit you with his second attack because you knock him unconscious. Uh, sorry, 3d10. 
I think, oh damn! Actually, he's extra conscious. He um, is, yeah, yes. yeah, he slight. He, he gets draws out two swords. Yeah, goes to Ember, and, Ember, and Ember Shard and power them both. <laughs> slashes you with the first one, and your instant reaction just whoosh <laughs> sets him up. <laughs> he just runs around like Wilhelm screams and falls down unconscious over here somewhere. Stop, drops, and rolls. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, Amon just sort of puts his hand out and just whoosh, extinguishes the flames from him before he oh, burns aw, to no death. fear! <laughs> I have a plus one on something, Rob. Yes, you do have a plus one oh, uh, inspiration to, from over here. I didn't add it to anything. Neither do I. Oh, well. Next time. Damn it! Can, Next can, time. Uh, inspiration just is when you want to use it. Okay. I need to write context flex. It looks like plus one <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what that is. I forgot. Uh, that was his turn. Uh, we've got this guy's going to stand to his feet. Damn it, Nixie. Um, he is going to. Let's see. Who's he? He could get to Nixie and attack. <gasps> and she's just used her reaction, so he's oh, no. going to do that. He's going to run over to you, Nixie. He's going to bring out his weapons. He's going to take two strikes at you again. First one is an 18 plus stuff hits. The second yep. one's a uh, 15 plus stuff hits. Uh, yep. Uh, so he's going to deal eight and then another 12 is 20 total. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Um, he's on death's door though, that guy. And mm -hmm. then finally we've got the last of, oh, we've got the other um, salamandry guy. Maybe he can't he do much from there. Like wants to lie down. Mm. He's tired. This guy can boy. see you. No, he can't. I love how you talked and Rob's like, right, Phoenix, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This guy can't see you, so, but he also, oh, yeah, the, you like fire. Oh. Uh, the fire, fire method is going to <laughs> fly over your, over your way and then just <laughs> belch fire in your direction. I need a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. Dexterity. Oh, not great. Oh, not great. Six. Six is going to fail. You get, oh. That's four points of fire damage reduced to two because nice. of your resistance. Two points of fire damage from that guy. This one sees you. What is he going to do from there? I am um, not doing well. Nothing because I'm not the closest enemy. <laughs> uh, doesn't have to be for magic missile. No! <laughs> throws it out like, uh, throws these magical force bolts towards you. I can't dodge uh, You can't dodge a magic missile. Uncanny dodge? You, it's not an attack roll, so it doesn't affect uncanny dodge. Uh, so you're going to take five, six, and three is nine. Oh. Nine points of force damage <laughs> as three of them strike you. And then he's going to back away. Am I no longer hidden? Uh, nope, that didn't affect your hidden oh, status. Okay, cool. uh, I think that's all of them, except for Amon. Oh. I got Nixie! Oh my god, I got Nixie, everybody! Boom! Twice in a row! That's how Amon do! Oh, oh, oh! So he's dead. Yeah, you murdered him. <gasps> Collective <gasps> gasp. <gasps> I've never seen such a beautiful dance. Standing ovation. I am impressed. Thank you. You absolutely nailed it. Do you ever find that you're watching D&D &D and you think, gosh, I wish I could have watched this a week earlier? Well, do I have great news for you. Head to the Viva La Dirt League website where you can sign up to watch the episodes a week early and you get a free frog monster, no, no, whether you like it or no, not. No, 